So guys, I finally did it. I finally bought a robot. How's it going guys? It's Vital here and I just bought the Evo camera robot by cinema robotics company called Motorized Precision. They are the same company that tech creator MKBHD bought his robot from and I wanted to do a quick intro for you guys. Plus, I also interviewed the CEO of the company. You're the first from your nation to have some of our robots, which is like a big honor for me. This video is not a review, but I've been testing this for the past few weeks and we've been working on some amazing projects, but I thought to share this here first. So what is this? This is a motion control cinema robot, a robotic arm. And the reason you'd get something like this is if you want precise movement with your camera. With this, you can get some level of that precision there. Typically, these robots can cost up to $120,000 to even $250,000 for those big ones, but they are more affordable ones like this one. And they are also still capable of achieving precision, especially for products or tighter shots, which we shoot product videos, we shoot smartphones all the time. So yeah, how much is $120,000? $120,000 is like a hundred and eighty million naira. So robotic arms shoot things like these where they are just almost impossible to capture with normal camera movement. I mean, they're somewhat possible, but not as precise. I've been making tech videos for the past nine years now. Well, nine years. And this is basically the next step of our channel, Cinema Robotics, especially in our reviews and beyond our reviews. So this is more of an asset for us as well. Something else that is also exciting for me is that in the past two years, I've been working on something special for you guys. I did something no other creator has done and I called over 50 creators one-on-one -on -one for free to learn their struggles and challenges. And I'm, I'm talking free three hour calls, by the way. I did that. And what I also did was I took my nine years experience and condensed it into 60 videos. So yes, I'm sharing every single thing I know about content creation, and how you can make money as a creator. Plus, as if that's not enough, I'm also giving away a brand new MacBook Pro, a Sony camera, and a microphone to yet another creator or creators who are on their content creation journey. You can hit the link below to get started. If you want the starter version, you get access to the videos on October 25th. And if you want the founder edition, you get access to both the videos and my community right now. So you get direct access to me and it's only take two minutes to sign up and it's currently 50% off. So I'll see you there. Yeah, let's get back to the video. My initial reaction seeing this robot was that it was quite huge or bigger than I had expected. Like I thought it would be smaller than this, but it looked bigger than I thought. I've taken it to a friend who is a filmmaker and we got to do some basic tests. And I also took it to a fashion brand where we actually shot all night and we got some interesting results like these. We use it to make an actual technology and fashion campaign for them. And I'll link these videos below when it's available. It looks futuristic. And that's one of the perks of having a cinema robot. I think I was trying to get it to look like the YSL, the, the Gucci type campaigns. And I think we tried. In terms of setup, our model is the Evo by Motorized Precision. And it comes in a nice hard case with the power module and extra accessories if you want to have it on your table, for instance. The robot is quite heavy, it's weighing around 20 kg. And in terms of payload, it can take around 5 kg. It's controlled by a software called Motorized Precision Studio, MP Studio. And you can use this, a gamepad, to control the robot. So this is me controlling the robot. And it looks, it looks really weird just doing that. But yeah, it can move forward, up, down, forward back yeah pretty cool so our specific robots can shoot things like go around or over people's heads fly around products do smooth push-ins or rises for products and i was thinking of how we could do that for our videos as well and we have it here now i also got this so this is a gripper it's basically like a robot hand but with two clasps two fingers clasped against each other and with the software you can use this to pick things and move it around in a precise manner and drop them and use it to control stuff in here where you can now key it out and it makes the object look like it's floating. You can program it how you want and it depends on the range that it can go. This can go up to four feet in height. This is minus the tripod. So with the tripod, you get additional range when it comes to height. But horizontally, you get 2.8 feet. 
So, you know, it's portable, it's small, it's a budget one. So definitely 2.8 feet. It may not be a lot, but it's still something. Everything comes down to their software, actually, to MP Studio. And this one, this software basically controls everything for the robot. So that it controls the robot, it controls the gripper, it controls the focus, the fuse units, and it is performance intensive. It's working with Unreal Engine in real time. So after I extended use on my laptop, this was using a lot of power. So shout out to MP Studio, shout out to Motorized Precision. This is also mainly plug and play, plus most of the parts for Evo are off the shelf. You get the tripod off the shelf, you get an internet cable, you get HDMI. So our producer Kirichi asked me some questions and I'll be answering them for you guys right now. But if you're enjoying this video so far, make sure you hit the subscribe button so you see more videos like this and you see more videos of what we make with with Evo, by the way. So he said, uh, is it better? In some cases, yes, we're still getting a hang of this robot, but it's mainly limited by our imagination, to be honest. I saw this Audi ad and I thought it looked so cool. I can't wait to try out stuff like that with this robot. So if you want to book this robot, yes, we are renting it. So do shoot us an email. I'll have a link in the description below. You can rent it from us. What makes it different from other motion control systems and robots? So what makes this robot different from other motion control systems is, first off, it is more affordable. It is also portable. It is easier to use in a small space like our studio here. And we're trying to do some more stuff that, you know, feels very different, you know, when it comes to tech videos. So stay tuned for that. We actually have some interesting projects on the way. What kind of creators is this best suited for? Honestly, this is well suited for professional filmmakers and maybe some creators. I'm a creator and I wanted something that would make our videos stand out and you know, stand out even more. So I got this robot to be able to do extra dreamlike shots. And meeting the owner of the company and seeing what they are already even doing with the bigger robots inspires me. I thought that this would be a cool first step before we get into the much bigger $200,000 robots one day, please guys. What limitations have you experienced in your shot use? I'd say some limitations right now are that it's kind of heavy, it's technical to set up, and you can actually imagine some shots and get it done well. I'd say it's still also on the expensive side, even though it's an affordable camera robot. It also might require you to spend more on professional gear and get a professional to be there with you. So there's that. And the speed is just around two meters per second compared to the larger robots, which are faster, like six meters per second. But if you're shooting products, this works well. All in all, we've tried to get some good shots out of it. And we even made the LG video and there were only like two comments that noticed the robot shots in that video. But yeah, all in all, uh, we're still going to try and get more good shots. I mean, it's here now. Why did you buy it? Uh, why did we buy a robot? Basically to make million dollar looking shots here in Lagos. <laughs> but we also wanted to make the best tech videos, like I said, and everything in between. I think it's, for me, it's more, how can we push the boundaries with technology, technology storytelling, and how, how can we use it to tell stories in a way that feels high quality, delivers value for you guys watching this video. Is it worth it? And would you recommend it to another creator? Uh, it depends. Uh, yeah, it depends. That's all I can say for now. However, anyone who wants to try this, uh, it's more than welcome to rent it from us. It's actually very affordable to rent from us. Even more affordable than getting it from the abroad or anywhere in Nigeria here. It is the most affordable you get it. I think we're like the first to have this in Nigeria and uh, maybe Africa. And if you want to rent it, if you want me on your production set, actually follow the link below. Like there's a link there. Also guys, what name should we give this robot? Um, what kind of shots would you like me to get with this? Let me know your name suggestions and the shot suggestions in the comments below. And I'll be right there chatting with you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe. And by the way, if you want to watch our reaction video to the iPhone 17 and everything Apple released in a fun video, in a fun reaction video, make sure you check out this video right here. I'll see you guys in that video. How's it going everyone? We are going to the hotel to pick up